Put a an extra thick piece of iceberg the size of man. It fell into the wet stuff. It sounded like swa 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 Man, the news is a lot funnier when I didn't own the earth. Now all your tomfuckery is ruining my portfolio. Oh, I forgot to mention I bought the earth. No, I know what you're thinking. No, earth isn't for sale. It belongs to me now. I know you may hate me for buying the planet, but... You know, at least it wasn't this guy. Or these homies. Or handsome Jack. Or less handsome Jack. Besides, there are tons of planets for sale. Like Toy 700D. It's an ocean world, so I, I don't think you can technically live on it. But it is really cheap though, only 20 Wulongs. Kinda of suspiciously cheap if you ask me. Oh... Oh, that's why it's so cheap, half of it's missing. Yeah, that'll drop the price down a bit. Personally, I wouldn't let the unstable hydrostatic equilibrium get you down. It looks like a wonderful place to live. I mean, look at those rings. Another plant for sale is WR67C, priced at 200,000 Zen cubes. This planet has a Venus-like climate, and its sky has a nice purple hue. The surface has widespread volcanism and never drops below 50C. WR67C is also sentient. That's right, the planet has a mind of its own. You're probably wondering about its personality, but you'll be happy to know that despite the planet not being hospitable, the planet's still quite hospitable. They even offered me coffee. However, there is one small problem with the planet. They have an intense phobia of humans. WR-67C has threatened the use of deadly force if any of its surface is colonized by humans. But if you're not human, and can tolerate the poisonous sulfur dioxide atmosphere, then it's a great place to raise a family. Our next planet is priced at 30,000 Aphids. Dump 33B has two suns. <clears throat> DMP 33 Alpha B has two suns, so Dump 33 isn't really that far off. I mean, like, yeah, you get two suns, but the surface is so hot that you'll be burnt to a crisp before you can even make a single Star Wars parody. Has no moons, and despite its large size, it's not even tectonically active. Kind of a ripoff, if you ask me. Um, doesn't really have that interesting geologic features. Um, has no atmosphere. Yeah, this planet's kind of a disappointment compared to the other ones I've listed. Wait, no, no, fix it. Watch this, watch this. Eh? Eh? It's not so bad anymore, huh? Eh, never mind, let's just move on. We got asteroids for sale. Um, most of them really aren't worth mentioning. I mean, some of them kind of look a bit funny, but... Most of them are just kind of rocks. Except for this one that looks like Shrek. If you're interested to buy the Shrekroid, it's only 10 Gorgons. Pretty cheap price. Alright, I've saved the best for last, the planet you just have to buy. HD 221585B. Unlike the other planets, this one goes by another name, Novus. And it's priced at only 5,423,129.76 Galactic Credits. Don't worry though, Galactic Credits are worthless. It's more closer to like, $2 maybe? Anyway, Novus comes with a set of beautiful rings. The nice green color is due to the high content of chloride and eptonite in the ring system. Another striking feature is the brilliant blue bands, breaking up the otherwise bland linen color. This is due to the abnormal amount of ozone and nitrogen in Nova's extra thick, juicy atmosphere. Along with your purchase comes 60 additional moons, four of which are terrestrial size. We have Gongora, Deranak, Telfin, and finally, Ouroboros, the only habitable world we'll be featuring today. I've actually vacationed there a while ago. What a nice place to live. There are tons of cool places to visit. My favorite is the Sumerian Badlands. Despite the harsh terrain, it's it's quite uh quite temperate here. Not not too hot. Yeah, hello, Department of Posting. Yeah, I'm on Ouroboros, and there's a sign saying I'm banned from entering the Novian system. Yeah, I didn't break anything. Well, I guess I'm banned from an entire planet. Um, it's kind of bullshit. I didn't, I didn't do anything. Nothing they can prove anyway. Well, that that about wraps it up for um for all the planets for sale. Um, if none of these planets interest you, just remember. 
pay your rent on time. I still own your planet. I will evict you. Goodbye!